Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Jordan. I'm the Director of Soccer for Tennessee Soccer Club. Uh, I also oversee the middle-aged girls. Uh, this, this presentation is hopefully going to give you some information on the upcoming year for the U13 and U14 age girls. I'm going to share my screen and just go through one or two things uh, and potential questions that you may have prior to tryouts. So our plans for this uh, upcoming season. Uh, right now, we've got a lot of teams in, in both age groups. Uh, I anticipate having five teams based out of Williamson County. Those will be the ECNL and the Nike teams. Uh, and then after that will be the, the showcase, our premier and elite teams. We also have a, a, a potential team forming in both Murfreesboro and Sumner. These are smaller groups that we did start last, this season. Um, and hopefully with more numbers there, we can continue to grow. And our numbers in Nashville are a lot smaller, um, but that still is a possibility uh, if more players wanted to, uh, to be part of that. Some of the team information. So uh, our ECNL team will, will be run primarily from our ECNL director, that's Greg Warden. So he generally oversees the, uh, the schedule logistics of, of this league. Um, and then our Nike team, um, it's a bit more of a mix between the middle girls and the ECNL as, as they will get to play in the, region, the ECNL regional league team too. Um, they'll also be able to play state league. Um, and then as we go into the showcase teams, really it depends on, on ability. Um, in each location, it, it may be slightly different, and one showcase team may be able to play in D1, another one may play D2. I would expect our Williamson showcase team to play D2, uh, and then when we move down to, to Premier and Elite, uh, again, once we've assessed the teams after trials, uh, the coaches will be able to, to make the best decision for them. Um, our schedule, although it doesn't get set till closer to the season starting, um, once the league schedules are set, uh, we'll, we'll then fill out with friendlies, with tournaments uh, that we see fit for, for those teams. Roster sizes can vary slightly. I would say most teams are going to be looking for between 16, 17 and, and maybe 18 players. The, uh, <clears throat> there is no perfect, uh, definite number. Um, we'll be, uh, again, looking at the players, looking at the right fits for each team. Um, but anywhere between that 16 and 18 is, is to be expected. Okay, so obviously we have the tryouts just about to start here. Um, hopefully you're all aware of, of when and, and where you need to be. Everything is on our website if you if you need to kind of follow up and, and check and, and you'll receive emails with um, more information, where to get your tryout number, etc. Just so you know, obviously our, our, our three locations there, Murfreesboro, Nashville and Sumner will be on the Tuesday and Wednesday, the June 1st and 2nd, uh, and then Williamson County will be the 3rd and 4th. Um, everybody that wants to be considered for the ECNL or Nike team uh, must attend our Williamson County tryouts. Um, and I would ask that you would let myself know if, if you plan on attending multiple locations, uh, just so we can plan appropriately. There are a lot of returners coming back um, and the trial process can be obviously a um, a scary, a uh, uh, nervous time for players. Um, it's important to know that we do, we have a lot of feedback on, on everybody. We discuss players consistently and we'll go through each of the um, players, scenarios, teams um, before tryouts, during tryouts, and then obviously straight afterwards when decisions begin to be made. Um, all the coaches, previous coaches, new coaches, everybody's involved with this. And um, so we get to to get different opinions too. Next step, so obviously once we, uh, once we actually select the teams and, and send out invites, um, we'd ask that you do respond as quick as you can. And to do this, um, part, of, um, part of the challenge right now is, is to really have those conversations with your, with your daughters as to where you could, could land. Which teams are you looking at? And, and it's important to, um, to cross off each, each scenario. If you get 
push to the team above if you're on the same team if you um move down down a team have are you prepared do you know what how you would react and um and is it a position that you would still accept or or is it a position where um and, and really just the idea is to take away that element of surprise and uh, and and just have that conversation prior uh, a big part of this is once we send out invites the first team will get their invites we can't move on to the second team until that first team is is complete um, and we want to get through all of them so if anybody is you know, we're avoiding a long period between the first person finding out to the to the last person finding out um, so I'd appreciate, obviously, your responses as quick as you can. Emails will be sent out from, from the coach, and then we'll just ask you to, to, to reply back with a yes uh, yes or no as soon as you can. Uh, and then coaches will then uh, follow up afterwards with, with phone calls and, and with more uh, information about the team, plans going forward. So, again, a big part of that is just having that conversation and, and really um, having that area of expectation uh, where do you where do you feel your daughter will land and and have that honest conversation with them and right now it it could be a good time to to reach out to your coach and I know a lot of players already have done um, to see where they feel they fit and we can't give any answers right now but but it's good to um, to have that conversation beforehand once all the teams are set then we'll have the team meetings uh, those the coaches will, will reach out and organise that with with you all and, and again in that there'll be a lot more uh, information for the next season to be released um hopefully that kind of goes through some of the uh bits of information for, for new players and some returners uh, i just wanted to, to leave this here this is part of um our, our bigger picture our core values for, for tsc um obviously you can read through them all um but this is what we try to um, work towards uh, there are elements here that uh, we need to continue improving on, and um, but I think uh, it, it's gradually improving every single year I've been with TSC, um, and these are these are so important to, to how we want to be um, seen and how we want to continue to to educate uh, the players that we work with. So uh, I hope you agree, and we look forward to seeing your tryouts. Please uh, reach out if you have any more questions. Thank you very much.